Good morning, Sabina. Good morning to the Ring of Power. Good morning from a very cold and very rainy day here in Palestine. A day where I look outside and see the wind blowing and the rain coming down so hard, where I look at the ground and I say thank you for the rain, for coming down and replenishing the earth that is dry. At the same time, I look at the rain and my heart is filled with pain and sorrow because I know this same rain is going to cause so much destruction and chaos and pain for the hundreds of thousands of Palestinians that are living in makeshift plastic tents in Gaza where their tents are being blown by the wind and water is seeping into their ground where children are sleeping on mud with their wet clothes and illnesses and sicknesses are spreading like wildfire in those areas. And the reason is because an absolute destructive war has been launched on the people of Gaza in the name of retaliation and revenge where tens of thousands have been killed, tens of thousands have been wounded, hundreds of thousands have been dismantled from their homes in the name again of revenge, retaliation. And to understand that Europe has a big part to play in this because of the silence that many European countries and nations, especially at the political level, have taken when it comes to this. Instead of saying, yes, there are ways where Israelis can actually get justice for what happened to them October 7th, that does not allow and justify the entire destruction of an entire population for that. But you remain silent. And you remain silent because it fits exactly into the question that you posed, Sabina that there is an energy of colonialism that exists and still exists in Europe today, where some standard of morality has been created based on the color of the skin or the religion that you follow or the type of clothes that you wear or the food that you eat or the music that you listen to that creates a standard for you that is better than that of other communities and other nations. And in that standard, you are able to demonize and dehumanize entire populations and justify violence towards them. This energy has been carried in Europe for hundreds of years and still is carried until this day. It is also mixed with a sense of guilt and shame that we cannot stand against each other when it comes to one of us engaging in genocide against the population. When the US was engaging and this absolute violence towards Afghanistan and Iraq and Pakistan, you remain silent as well at the political level because we are, in a way, one in the standard that we carry. And this is the same energy that comes today to play in this land when we thought that maybe as humans we have passed this. The reality is that colonialism in Europe is not a thing of the past. It is still embedded in the consciousness of today. And now I want to say this not just at the political level, but at the level of every single European that needs to understand they are responsible because your life today, the luxury that you live, the comfort that you live, the finances that you have today, come from centuries of destruction and colonialism and the theft of the richness and the resources of many nations that your ancestors have conquered. It is time for the European nation and the states in Europe to take a new approach. And this approach begins by acknowledgement, deeply acknowledgement that we are and continue to be colonialist nations. The fact that you create countries that are dependent on you doesn't, or even look towards you as wonderful nations, doesn't in any way impair your responsibility that colonialism still continues. It starts by apologizing. Taking responsibility 
and apologizing are key components of this. And the thing, the next is to actually engage in reparations. It is okay if your life becomes less luxurious than what it is now so that other nations can also heal and rise to new standards that we could all create, where we could all live as human beings and what we deserve in happiness and joy and safety and comfort in this beautiful planet that we are on. Reparations are very important. And I would say the last is to stand against violence and not to justify it no matter who does it. We need to be in service of life. We need to heal the wounds of colonialism by saying enough is enough to violence that comes from that energy of colonialism and that energy of this belongs to me and it doesn't belong to anybody else. My hope is in a new Europe that would form, a new Europe that begins to understand that we have the power to make change in this world for a better life for all those who live in it, for a better way of how we connect with nature, how we connect with the rain, how we connect with the elements that nature has given us. It takes strength. It takes commitment. But it also takes an understanding that we are responsible and we can make a difference. I wish you a deep, challenging and wonderful day as you listen to me because I speak from a heart of love to you. It's not a heart of judgment, but it's a heart that pleads to you to know that we can be in a better world when we are able to bring closure to this consciousness of colonialism, this consciousness that there are better human beings than others. And we all come together as the human family and create that world. Thank you.